I mean, they're pretty, but nothing compares with the workmanship of a handmade uh, piece of crocheted lace. Um, it's just something very special. So I encourage you, whenever you see these things in your wanderings through antique stores or vintage shops or shopping online, rescue these pieces because they need to be preserved and handed down to our, our succeeding generations. When Frida Kahlo died, her husband uh, decreed that her personal dressing area and her, her closet, her bathroom, be sealed up for 50 years. No one could go in there, no one knew what was really in there except the people that, that dressed her every day. But when they finally opened it up, what they found was uh, a, a number of pieces that were pretty remarkable because they still had the scent of her cigarette smoke and her perfume that she wore. And um, among all the pieces they found, they found 32 blouses and 38 skirts, so it was a real treasure trove of fashion, and this is why. Uh, this piece in particular is something that I, I uh, had thought about doing for a while now. This is actually called um, Andy W. Loves Frida K. And I'm, uh, I have really loved Andy Warhol for a long time. And uh, I thought it would be kind of cool to sort of like meld those two eras together. And if you remember her, uh, Andy uh, Warhol's uh, Marilyn series, there was a series of, of uh, uh, photographs of her that were done on different colored backgrounds and they had different colors in her hair and in her makeup and things like that. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun to put Frida in that same kind of situation? So that's how this came about. But I decided to use um, vintage cro crochet rose patterns to depict the headdressing that she used to use in her hair. Now the headdresses that she wore were actually uh, they were, they were indigenous, uh, tribal headdresses. They weren't just ribbons and things like that. 